Hi, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Long time no see. I've been away on retreat, uh, having a lovely time for a week and then at my daughter's for a few days. So I think it was my last video or the one before. I promised to show you how I made this. Let's open it up. It's made out of um, envelopes. So the front cover here, we've got a little pocket, an envelope, which I've not put anything in yet. And just here, I've put another envelope and we've got a pocket there at the back of the envelope. <coughs> and more decoration underneath so that all, all my bits of paper and things are covered. I've done this for in my, uh, oh, it's not hand, yes it is to hand, this big flippy altered file folder journaly type thing that I'm making. It isn't actually a file folder because there's no file folders in it. But anyway, this is what I've made this for. In the middle, we've got a little grungy notepad and some journal in space. We've got a pocket here with journaling space, uh, a journaling card and some ephemera there, they're from the 80s. They're actually invoice receipts and credit card receipts and they match perfectly with what I'm doing in my, in my altered grungy flippy thing <coughs> then at the back here we have we're tied up with sari silk here but at the back we've got another pocket here we have got the pocket here and pocket here so i'm now going to attempt to show you if i can remember how i made this and i'm going to just open it up and put it nearby there just to remind me exactly what I did. So first of all, I got a piece of A4 paper. This is the one I chose. This was off a 12 by 12. So I had to cut it down to suit um, <clears throat> the A4 size. Now for me, A4 is 29 and a half centimetres by 21 centimetres, which is 11 and three quarters approximately inches by eight and a quarter inches. So that's what I did first. I got my paper and I folded it in half, burnished the edge. So I've got this little folding part now I, I have sewn this this little envelope folder but I'm not going to call it an I could call it an envelope thingy folder couldn't I but I'm not going to um stitch this one so next I've got two envelopes <coughs> now the thing with the envelopes is um they are, mine are slightly bigger so in theory I could have made this slightly bigger or I can just cut these down a little bit so what I've decided to do is to cut them down a little bit let me get my glue it would help wouldn't it <coughs> so first of all we just need to cover them inside like this and on the outside too so let's take our envelopes so what i'm going to do actually is first of all this is the easiest way to cover i'm going to measure my envelope against my paper oh this is why i picked a bigger envelope actually i'm going to just cut that to match my paper size So now my envelope will actually open up like that. And I'm going to use that envelope 
as a stencil for this envelope. So I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom and top there. Yeah, I did it like this so that it's easy to line the envelope if you want to line it. There we go. So then I got some paper to line it with and I've chosen some um, music vintage music paper. Here. I'm going to tear that off. Two pieces, one for each. One for each there. I'm going to open up. And I'm going to glue that onto there. Now then, it's a little bit short of that. Ah, uh, I need it there. get round it we'll get round it so first of all i'm going to put my glue on i'm using good old fabri tac at the moment you could just use a pva the reason i'm using fabri tac is because it's here in fact it doesn't really matter if that top bit where is that top bit's inside you won't really see the back of this so it doesn't really matter that it's not I am uh, a messy girl, so I'm just going to spread this with my finger because that's what I do. My mum nearly had a convulsion when I got her doing this. She was like, ooh, ooh, gotta wash my hands, gotta wash my hands. <clears throat> gotta wash my hands. Doesn't bother me having messy hands. I'm going to put that on there. Just leave that on there. <clears throat> Just do the other one. The other one says high school cadets. Do I want that side? No. I'm going to put that this way again. So I'm lining the inside. So where it folds, I'm lining the inside. I am being very... Uh, What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Very uh, flamboyant using Fabri-Tac for this. But, you know, why not? It is actually is the best. I know PVA is, more, is not more suitable, it's suitable. But, actually, I love Fabri-Tac. I love it. Right, let's pop that on there. underneath there, I'll push it up. Right, <clears throat> back to the first one and I'm just going to cut around using the envelope again as a template to get rid of those edges that are overhanging. not decided which journal I'm going to put this one in. I'm just making it like off the, off the cuff. I just thought, you're back from retreat. You're back from Jessica's. That's my daughter's. Uh, you've got half an hour to yourself or an hour to yourself. <clears throat> Do something. Let's use it purposefully. So there we go. That is the envelope lined for us the inside of the envelope. Quick and easy. And like I say, those little bits there don't actually matter because once they're fastened down, you won't actually see them. Let's just cut out the other one. Not the screen yet. So what was I doing at my daughter's? I went up to Durham. I came back from retreat on Saturday Monday, it's a four hour drive that, Monday, so I was shattered, 
because I've done I've done so much meditating last week that I am refreshed, but I was just like feeling so tired. So Monday we went up, shot up to Durham. It's about two hours drive. My daughter's school. <coughs> Excuse me. Should have had a Lenten market. Sadly, the market was cancelled because of illness and teacher strikes and things. So instead, the Lenten market is this Friday. So I went, I'd already volunteered to help make some books. A little sort of journal in notebooks with the children. Now I, um, it was a good job it was cancelled for me because it was while I had COVID that the market should have gone ahead. So I couldn't have gone and helped anyway. There we go, that's nice, isn't it? That's, so that should give you two. Yeah, so I couldn't have gone and helped anyway. So uh, the Lenten Market, and it's still called the Lenten Market, but it's occurring this Friday. So I went up and yesterday I went into class. I should have brought um, one of the notebooks with me. With 30, 30 maybe more, three to five year olds making little journals. And they really were successful. I was really, really pleased with them. Really pleased. They work so hard. They're just so, um, what's the word, these children? They're just so creative. They just, so these are going to fit on here like that. Is that the right way up? Yes. So now I need to put something on here and I need to cover this part of the envelope. So I've actually got, well, let me see. And I've got the papers here to tell you what the papers are. These papers are from Katie Putt and it's at, at Home in the Wildflowers. And it's beautiful papers. So lovely. That's just gorgeous. I bought this to do uh, some of my daughter's wedding journal with. So yeah, Katie, Platt, Katie Putt at Home in the Wildflowers. So now I am going to use these. So I've got some off cuts here to smooth things out the way. I'm going to do this side and I'm going to use, it's going against heat here. Shall I use the buzzy bees or shall I use the flowers? Do you know I'm going to use the buzzy bees on one and the flowers on another. So I'm going to stick this on here, but I'm just going to go sl sl slightly longer for where it falls. Because I learnt last time I made a mistake and I ended up having to put washi tape on the edge. Not that it's a problem, because of where it folded, it was sticking up. Yes, I'm with all these 11, not 11, three to five-year-olds making books. And this, can I take this book home? And it was like, well, no, you have to keep it in school. It's the Lenten Market. And we were explaining about the Lenten Market. And then, um, put that there. It doesn't really matter the edge of this bit, because this bit you won't see. It's like, it's a bit underneath. Yeah, so explaining the Lenten market and revisiting Easter. It's so hard to sort of go back and say, well, this is what happened, if you remember. So we went to, like, the worship board and went through it all. And, um, let's cut that off there. And, yeah, so we did the things. So one little boy picked such beautiful papers and he said, I picked these for my mummy. These are just for my mummy. So that, I, I had to get in there. So that book was uh, just put to one side so that when his mum comes to the market, she can buy that book because he worked so hard and he picked such lovely papers. We were with roses on the face. Picked, picked such lovely papers and he just put so much love into that for his mum. I'm going to fold that now, find the crease, I'm going to fold that, and I'm going to just 
burnish that down. Yeah, you put so much love into it. So how could you say to him, no, it's going on the market. I mean, the children, I'll put love into it, but he was just so, you touch, you touch my heart. That's me upside down fabric tack, that one. The one that's running out. That's there like that. That's there, there. That'll be on there. So now we need to cover this bit. Let's have a look. So I'm going to use this, which is this side. This is the other side. So I'm going to use some of this. If I put that on there and that there. Uh, no, I'm not because it's not quite deep enough. So let's just forget that one. Let's have a look. What else I've got? Oh, that's nice. That's quite nice. Does that one go on? Let's have a look. That one will just, oh, just go on there. So I'm just basically using, I've cut some things. Yeah, that'll look nice on there. Right. <clears throat> so yeah, he put, there was that much love in that particular little journal. He said, please. So it's gone to one side. So at the, uh, at the market, all the class are, all the classes have made something. So these are children aged three to 11. They've made something useful that they're going to sell. And the money that they raise goes to a school in Africa that they support. So, yeah, please, I want it for my mummy. You put all these love arts and all sorts in, so I haven't got the heart to say no. Let's make sure. Good thing with fabric tack is you've got a little bit of wiggle room with it, so you can sort of <laughs> manoeuvre it to suit your... I've got some little white bits there, but I'll just ink them. That'll fall there. That's lovely. So, yeah, so I relented <coughs> and let him uh, have it for his mum. In fact, I could just, just cut them off, wouldn't I? Let's be a rebel and just cut them off. Cut. Sorry. I'm probably like right up to the screen like this. Cut around there because I'm back tucked in my own head now. And I showed them all the specific way to fold the journals. So suppose, <coughs> suppose this was the journal and I showed, folded it that way. Well, no, one little boy did it that way. And I was like, I was wowed actually. He really had thought out of the box. Now, now is a good time to do your stitching if you're going to stitch. Oh, like I said, I'm not going to stitch this one. It will also, I believe, be a good time to do your inking. <coughs> Still got the very slightest cough left from having had a... Uh, everything that I had on my viruses and COVID and what have you. So yeah, so, so that was lovely. I was so tired though. Even though I've been sat down all day, my legs were aching. And, oh, I think my legs and my back was aching and I think it's because I was sat on those little chairs. I said to my daughter, I said, I'm, you know, 58. And you're sitting on these little chairs. And I managed to get one from another classroom, a bigger chair. And I just sat down and this and that teacher came in and said, Miss Cre Mrs. Crean, that's my daughter, do you know where my chair has gone? And I'm just sort of sat there, pretending not to have heard. And um, I was caught out, so I had to give the chair up. So yeah, caught in action, chair theft. So then I had to sit on these little chairs. So it was like, 
horrific backache. leave that little bit over so that I can fold it up you know just to give a nicer edge yeah that was core tight little tiny chair when I come to stand up at the end of the day I was like help me help me up I said to my daughter you know I'm, 50, I'm going to be 60 next year and she said well you're not 69 mum I thought, just you wait, just you wait. I said, you're all right, sat in your big teacher chair, teacher's desk. No, not that she really sits at it, because they don't really. Just folding the envelope there. They don't, she's in reception, she doesn't get, really get time to sit at a desk. She sits in a chair for registrate, morning and afternoon registration and story time. No, she sat on a little chair for story time, actually. Right, there we go. That's one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue this and it's ready in place. Now, I did put a little envelope. Where's my little envelopes? I got two ready. Luckily, they're just behind me. I'll get two more. I'm going to put a little envelope here. I think that just adds a little bit of extra something and it just gives us an extra space there for journaling uh, for put storage so I'm going to put on the edge of this fabric tack around the edge of the inside there and then my husband kept saying I love the beach the beach is like one of my don't go all the way up because if you do you'll never get your envelope open and centralize that so now you've got a little pocket there as well so yeah so my husband kept sending me pictures from the beach he was on the beach with our dog and with jessica's dog and i'm like Grr. So although I did love it with the children, because we came home today, this morning, we only had two nights there, I actually never got to the beach. So, And where Jess lives, they have the most amazing beaches. It's just... Now you could, like I say, stitch this on, but I'm not. I'm doing a stitch-free... Now, this bit here is going to be our pocket, so we need to not put glue along there. Just go along here. Just glue that down there. Yeah, so he kept sending me pictures. He was doing it on purpose because he knew I'd be like, really missing it. Especially as we didn't get a chance to go today. But never mind, we'll be up again, I'm sure. Particularly over the summer, we go up to see them a lot, so going to some beaches i love it because of the beaches like where the vikings landed king canute tried to stop the sea and she lives in the village where king canute was who tried to stop the sea oh, just got a bit on there whoop, whoop. yeah so he thought he could command the sea to stop she lives in the village where he lives so there's loads of history and things so we'll be going up this summer yeah, so there's glue down this edge. <clears throat> so we take that up to the edge. I'm just going to... So now we've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. And we've got a pocket here. I didn't put some... Uh got to put my ink in around my envelope oh whatever next there we go right so that's that side <clears throat> we'll punch the holes after so the other side here is my other envelope and we do exactly the same here i'm, I'm not really giving measurements because 
ideally it's you know it's your call it's your measurements <clears throat> right i'm going to use when you use it what i like best about using a kit like this is that everything you know matches so no matter which pages you use you know they're all going to match let's move this out of the way <coughs> right so do this bit first I'm going to take my glue slightly over so I get a nice edge. Yeah, the measurements will depend entirely on the size of your envelopes, the size of your base paper. Like I said, mine's an A4. You could do bigger ones, you could do tiny ones, little ones with little envelopes. Those would look really nice. Let's just put this. I'm just going to cut this off here because it's a little bit bent. And put that there. I saw this originally made out of fabric. But I thought actually we could do this out of Paper. That's what I'm doing, obviously. Obs. Just cut that out. There we go. Beautiful. So that will fold. Where will it fall? I should have sort of had a look into there it falls. Oh, obviously at the top of that. There. Oh, I don't understand that. Why is that one higher up than that side? Let's correct it. That is there. I obviously must have cut a little bit too much off. There we go. Fall that day. Check everything sort of square and as it should be. my Etsy shop normally I would perhaps get about 50 orders a month um, this month has gone absolutely crazy though I've had over 25 orders just this last when I was on when I was on my retreat I had, oh, I had 25 orders just like in five days got parcels piled up to the ceiling in the conservatory <coughs> my husband's like how many how many rooms do you need right let's have a look here now so we've got that we've got that and i think i might go rogue shall we throw a pink in <coughs> shall we throw a pink Oh, is that too patterned? I've got any more off cuts. So I have to create some. Oh, I have got some off cuts. Oh, but that's the same. Oh, here we go. This one. I was going to go rogue then and cut into a new sheet, but now I've got some off cuts. And I think that will go very nicely there. So, again. We are going to have to work this out. That was there. That's what I like about paper crafting is some of the like having to work things out. But then again, I like the mindless bit where you just, oh, I need to tell you about that. I like the mindless bit where you just sort of go for it yourself. 
Yeah, so what happened is, while I was on the retreat, and now nobody knew there about my creativity at all. And I've, I've explained to you before that my I wasn't, apart from cooking, I didn't consider myself creative at all until my dad died when I made the mirror. I didn't make the mirror. I decorated the mirror as like a memory mirror. And I loved it so much. And so many people said, please, can you make me one? Can you make me one? So up to that point, I hadn't considered myself creative at all. I'm just going to go just look a little bit over on there. Let's just move that up. Up to then, I hadn't really considered myself creative at all. So Dad died. <clears throat> and put that the right way up. Yeah. So as part of my, a big part of my grieving process was this mirror. And I'll, I'm going to show it you one day. I will show it you. So I made the mirror. And every time I look at that mirror now, it's like... Oh, it, I can't. I just can't explain what it did for my healing when Dad died. Because my dad was like, he was everything, absolutely everything to me. So I did the mirror, and from the mirror, this was in 2017, 28, early 2018. Uh, from that came other crafty things. I started to do. Other bits and pieces. What have I done there? Cut a bit off. Do a blooming hecky. That's because I'm talking. So I started to do other bits and pieces of crafting. And before I knew it, I, um, I'm going to cut them flat like that. I think they'll be fine. I started to do other crafting. You know, watching YouTube and first of all, it was like things to make out of vintage jewellery because I had loads of vintage jewellery. So I made my daughter's and my mum a mirror. And my mum, I used some of my dad's things and my mum was just blown away with it. She like, she said, I can't believe I was going to throw all this away. And you've made me something so precious. So uh, my crafting came from that. So... I don't really. I'm going to put the little envelope on now. This little envelope, what does it measure? Just to give you an idea of sizes, etc. Oh, yeah. This is only four and a quarter by three inches or <coughs> almost eight centimetres by 11 so yeah so i just um i forgot what i was saying now <coughs> let me have a drink of water so this mirror really helped me i made my mum the mirror and my daughter's my daughters, I did like one relevant to teaching, one relevant to nursing. And then it's all just sort of stemmed from there. Um, also started working with jewellery, making things with jewellery. And then I opened my Etsy shop and... Oh, then I went to a festival, a fairy festival, and I had a stall there. So I'm in my... I did a lot of fairy themed jewellery. And then it all just sort of grew from there. And then I came on to paper crafting and... No, you just can't can't stop me from crafting, you know. I'm just crafting away all the time. So I got on my retreat, and my retreat was about healing because I'm very, very, very extremely uh, interested, and I do practice spiritual healing very. The benefits are seen from spiritual healing anyway. We're not here to discuss that. But, so I'm on my retreat. And I had a one-to-one -one with my tutor. Who didn't know me from Adam. At all. And she said to me. Have you ever thought of um, using creativity 
to help with healing. So I like picked myself up off the floor and I said, well, yeah. I said, I have used it actually. I used it, told her about the mirror and how much creativity has healed me. So she said, well, what about others? What about using it to help heal others? So while I was away, my new little concept came about and I've just created a Facebook page this morning called Creating the Mind Space. And I'm going to do some creating on there specifically in relation to uh, mindfulness and creative healing. I'm excited about it. There we go, that's nice, don't you think? So yeah, so uh, I've just put a little quote on this morning. I think tomorrow I'm going to put a picture of my dad's the mirror and tell my story tomorrow. And then there's just going to be things that I'm going to make focused around creativity, about around healing and mental health awareness and just letting yourself go into that creative process using using creativity as your um as your medium for healing <clears throat> taking yourself out, out of the grief which i know i've done it i've got first hand experience so that was my little nugget of insightfulness while I was on my retreat. So that's what I'm going to do. So if you want to see me on Facebook, it's called uh, <clears throat> Creating the Mind Space. Right, there we go. That's that bit done. I'm going to punch the holes. <coughs> do you want a little pocket on here? We could do. Let's have a look what we've got here. Little... Tim Holtzy bits and pieces. Ah, oh, I'm gonna put him on because he reminds me of my dad. And oh, I'm gonna put hair, hair, hair in as well. They'll be quite cute in there together. I'm gonna put that ticket as the pocket, I think. So. So yeah, she just suddenly out of the blue started talking to me about creativity and she just didn't know I was creative and she just said, you know, I've got this sense about you and, you know, have you thought of doing it? And I was like, wowza, wowza. And that was on the Monday, I only went on the Saturday, this Saturday afternoon was the first time I met her and this was Monday. So I thought this is obviously meant to be. So I'm putting this little, it's a Tim Holtz, oh sorry I didn't tell you, Tim Holtz Ideology Collage Tiles these. I just picked them up because they were just, they were just there. That's why I'm using these. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, if I've healed with through creativity, it's brought me on. Not only has it helped me um, with my place in my head, but it's I've talked to so many people about how creativity has helped me. You know, friends and people at church, and, and they even said, you know, I even thought about perhaps this is something I could do at church. You know, run a course or something. I don't know. I don't know. I took some slow stitching with me. What better way than uh, to meditate than slow stitch? I, I went, I've just put it on three, two corners. I'm going to put it down here. Yeah, so one day, the last day, we're going into some meditation, and I just said, I just. Oh God, little boy. I just said, no, I don't want to do that. I said, I just need some time out. So I went to my room and it was a beautiful place. And I went to my room. Right, I'm turning over. So that is the front and the back. So 
So I went to my room and I um, got some slow stitch out. And I just sat there for about an hour, just slow stitching away. And I went down and like my, the mentors and what have you said to me, are you all right? You know, what have you been doing? And I said, I said, I just needed some me time. We've had a busy week. I just needed some me time. I've been doing meditative stitch. So they said, oh, what's meditative stitch? Well, there you go. Another opportunity to talk about healing and creativity. So David said, I've never heard of that. He said, I'm going to look it up. I said, I literally sat in my room and lost, lost myself for a couple of hours. Right, that's the right way up. Stitching. Right, you need back to your scraps. I need two long pieces of paper. There we go, there's one. And find another. There's got to be one in here. I could just use that one. That one. So yeah, a lot of this, if you've noticed, has been from off cuts. So don't worry about having to go into your <coughs> cutting into your books and things. I'm going to use these. I'm just going to tear around. Yeah, so even just through not attending one of the meditations, I had an opportunity after to tell one of my tutors all about it. My mentors. So that's been my sort of 10 days. And I've had a really nice 10 days. I did miss my family. Just tear the right way and don't get that raggedy edge. I did miss my family. But what I loved more was like the reunion. My husband did miss me so much. Because we've never really been apart like that. The only time when my, my daughter was came out of a relationship and she became ill and she needed some mind space she should have been going away for a week with my mum and my mum couldn't go so I went with her but also was with my daughter this is the first time in 40 years cause me and Russ have known each other 40 years first time in 40 years that we've been separated so that was that was a big thing for both of us Ooh, look at that side it's got lines on this is some, I think that's tea stain and this is coffee stain. So always keep your scraps because they do come in. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to put some glue around the edge. I met so many nice people, you know, like-minded people. It was so lovely. So, <clears throat> will I do it again? Hopefully. Hopefully. God willing. You know, I've learned really sort of focusing on living, for the mo living in the moment. You know, just enjoy life as it comes at you. Live every day like it's your last. And I always used to be like that. Things change, don't they? Covid. My dad's death and Covid affected me so much. And I hadn't realised just how much actually until I went away and was able to take stock of everything. Right, that's that. So now we are going to put a pocket here. And I have got, I want to contrast. Ooh. Just noticed that I could do a pocket out of fabric, or I've got some of the I've got too many projects going on my desk. I've got some Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz water that'll look quite nice, I think. I'm gonna tear that, yeah. So 
my daughter was at my mum's yesterday and my niece who doesn't live too far away said to my daughter oh walk past your room and your house and that room at the walking the dog and that room at the front is so untidy so, so olivia said yeah it's organized chaos it's my mum's craft room but she knows exactly where everything is exactly so yeah it is untidy but i think part of that is because i know i'm having a new craft room in another bigger room um i haven't been putting things away as neatly as i can so olivia was telling me about this so i said well you know i shouldn't be looking through the windows and then um I was talking to my mum today and I said, oh, I believe you're calling my untidy craft room. So my mum always call, calls it untidy. I've got these David Holtz. David Holtz, where has that come from? Tim Holtz. Uh, David, David Holtz. These are botanicals. <clears throat> quite like the idea of the pink you know to match the this on this side in fact that is a good match i'm gonna put that on there yeah so um i'm gonna do that and i just so happen to have some right in front of me here because i've got another project going got some pattern paper a little bit of that. So if we put that on. <coughs> Just so I have these things. Oh, it's because I have so many projects going at once. I always have so much on my desk. So my, so my mum said so to me, oh, I believe you're talking about me. Calling my craft room. She says, well, it is untidy, Sharon. I said, but it isn't. I said, it's just... She said, I know, Olivia said, organised chaos, you know where everything is. She said, but it's just cluttered and it just look, it's just full of things. And I said to her, do you know, Mum, that's just like my brain before I went on my retreat. My brain, this is pattern paper. My brain was so cluttered and so full of things. And hopefully now... <clears throat> It's going to start to feel better. Because it actually doesn't feel as cluttered now. It feels a little bit more organised. It feels... <clears throat> I'm not missing my dad any... No. I'm not missing my dad any less. Still missing him like nothing on earth. But I'm dealing with it better. I'm dealing with it. And that was the point of where I went. <clears throat> so, yeah, my head has been like my craft room. But, like, my head has been tidied up a bit. And I've got coping strategies to deal with my head. So is my craft room when I move. When I move upstairs, I'm so looking forward to it, the big move. There we go. I like that. I'm just going to put a... Make it a corner. Oh, don't want that like that, I'm sure. So actually, this is the only bit of paper that wasn't wasn't scrap, isn't it? I actually tore it off. Tore it off. <coughs> I might use some um, diamond dust to just on that rose. I should have done it before I did that. I'm going to do it now. Let's put that on there, rose. On that rose. <coughs> Said to me, I'll just be 30 minutes. Diamond dust powder on the rose. Bring that back up. 
<coughs> I hadn't thought to use that, but I just, because it's here, I just thought, oh, I'll use that. So we just get that glitter on there, glittery effect. Now, I'm not going to make it today, but you would I've probably got something in my stash of bits and pieces anyway. But that is your pocket, so you need to pop something in. So let's just pop that one of those big butterflies in there for now. It's quite nice actually. Right, this side is the scrappy, scrappy notebook. Let's get these scraps out again. That's the right length. That's the right length. Not that. I'm just going through my scraps here, picking out pieces of paper. Paper scraps. Let's tear that for those. Let's have a little bit of that. So just go through your scraps, see what you've got. That's a nice to say date on there. Uh, they, they don't have to be the same length, they don't have to be the same width. The only thing that that they have to be is not longer than the not longer than the book. And the little file folder. <coughs> that a 10, 12 out. Let me just check how I fasten those on the other one. Here it is. I just staple them and then I glue them. So I just, oh, that's not a piece. So we just get our pieces together, arrange them as you would like. There's my big piece. So they don't go longer or wider than the Longer or wider and try and keep them straight. If they're not straight, it doesn't matter. So not longer or wider than this. Just put another one of them on there. Some, some uh, I'm stick out a bit of this side. Coffee stain. Just take that out of there. Coffee stain. I like that way it says date. I'm trying to keep that sort of uppermost. There's a piece that's longer. I'm lining them all up at the top. That can go there. And this little piece can just go on top. There we go. Up. I'll line them all up at the top so they're nice and straight. Ish. If they're not straight, do not worry. If you want them straight, do them straight. I've got my stapler and I just didn't do that because there's no staples in it. Let's get some staples out. It's not the case. I'm sure I'll have been away my daughter's been in here as well. So let's blame my daughter. No, nope, I'll accept the money. Oh dear, I make myself laugh. You have to do, don't you? Oh, some of the stuff that's going on if you didn't in this world if you didn't laugh. So I'm just putting <coughs> three staples across the top. There we go. And I think I just glued that on. Yes, I did. <coughs> so I just got my glue across the back you need you do need a strong glue for this let's pop that on there there we go that's there so all I need is a 
something from the pocket. So that closes like that. Excuse the arm. Let's get my crocodile. And I want the large hole. So I'm going to eyeball sort of the centre of there. And eyeball the centre of there. Oh, sorry, I did that off screen. <laughs> I was I like had it close to me. So I've eyeballed the centre there and punched a hole. I've eyeballed the centre there and punched a hole. Sorry about that. Now I have put my grommet things away. Let's get them out. Because I've actually been doing a little bit of tidying up. I'm going to get a couple of orangey ones. There we go. Come back, come back. So let's go put these in now. Nearly finished. Nearly finished. I always like <coughs> when I watch people using this. These crocodiles are like shouting, you've got it upside down. It tells your top and base of doing your grommets. But I'm like the world's worst. You've got it upside down. Have you ever, anybody ever shouted anything at my uh, videos? Right, shut up, get on with it. <coughs> there we go, that is finished. You should be able to tell actually which is the right way up from the comfort of holding the crocodile. Oop. Right, I just need some ribbon now for in there. <clears throat> Let's have a look. A lucky look, look. There's one I like there, but it's completely and utterly the wrong colour. I'm really down on my sari silks at the minute. Let's have a look in here. I've got anything. I've got this golden ribbon. No. Oh, I've got this yellow. Seam binding. No. I'm going. All the stuff that I have myself, and then I haven't got anything. To hand just choose for me now this instant. So I'm going. Oh, I'm not going to use. I'm going to use some of my. I'm going to use some cream. Done with my gold. I'm going to use some of my gold. Do I use my creamy white or my gold? Ah. Uh, I'm going to use my gold. I'm going to use the gold. Let's go for gold. This gold is from one of my favourite. Called Plum Boutique on Etsy. It's one of my favourite. What's happened now? I don't know why we... How are we not filming it properly? Anyway, let's finish off. If we've not filmed properly, we've not filmed properly. So I'm going to put that in there, through there. Let's just use something to push it through. I'm hoping now it's filmless. Push that through. That was good. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, Plum Boutique is the one to use. I'd be so disappointed if it's not filmed. It's like a message up. I right, don't want to go through with that because it keeps pulling it back out. One more try. One more step I go. Haha. 
あれ<笑> pull that through and there's the front got to bring it around and through here oh I've got it if it's not filmed actually because I really enjoyed doing this with you today not that I enjoy all my other videos but do it anyway you could tie it there or this side it doesn't really matter and then we tie it yes we do and we can't get our bars right there we go there we go beautiful so that is a little flippy thingy envelope thingy and you could either put it in a journal. Mine's just going to go in a pocket in in my altered thingamabob journal. Or you could actually use it. Let's do it again. Use it as a signature, couldn't you? It could go in like the middle of a journal. It would look really nice. Depending on what you want to do. So there it is, finished. It would just need some ephemera and bits putting in these pockets. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. I'm Sharon and you've been watching Beauty by Vintage. Bye bye.